Hi everyone, it's Marlene. Thank you so much for visiting with me today. I've come across some new products and I have tried them for a little bit, probably about two or three weeks. I just wanted to see how they worked out and I thought, I thought it would be a good idea for me to come on here every time I find four or five products and just do a short video because if you are in the market, for some of these products, at least you'll have some reference to them. Granted, we don't all like the same things and not everything works the same for everyone, but at least you'll have maybe some a, a point of reference. Anyway, I hope it's helpful and informative to you. The first product I wanted to share with you was one that has really surprised me. This is from the drugstore and this is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted palette and yes it does smell peachy but it doesn't smell like the Too Faced not at all it, it doesn't have such a strong scent to it I used it probably four or five times I have seen some other videos a couple of them that have said that this palette has much fallout I didn't find much fallout if you take a look at my palette you really don't see it dusty regardless of how many times I've used it. I have used just about every shade in the palette. It is very pigmented. It is long lasting. I was so surprised. The first day that I used it, I think I applied it at about nine o'clock in the morning and I had a lot of running around to do. And I think that it was probably close to 10 o'clock at night and I still had the shadow on. It had increased, it still looked beautiful. You get 12 shades in this palette. There's no mirror, it is a plastic case. You have, I believe it's six mattes and six shimmers. I will leave it the information down below. And it is $11.99. I thought it is, I honestly think that it is an excellent buy. Definitely if you are in the market for a drugstore palette that works really well, I think that this is a good buy if these are the types of shades that appeal to you product this is not new but it's new to me and I really haven't heard anyone talking about it so I wanted to share share it with you and this is the Rimmel long lasting finish 25 hour breathable and this is the concealer as you can see this has the gray I'm looking around to see if I have my Rimmel here no I do not but it has the gray just like the foundation it has a little little sponge on the on the end and you squeeze it out. it's a squeezy uh, packaging it is very lightweight if you are if you like foundations that are thick or that if you need plenty of coverage this one you may not like this has a light consistency to it but it works beautifully it does cover not extensively it's what I'm wearing now it's it doesn't um, crease it does, it's long lasting, it really is. It looks really pretty and it does just enough. I think that, and it's and the price point, you can't beat it. I think this was like $4.99. So it is definitely one to, that you might wanna check out. This blush totally surprised me because I don't usually pick up uh, cream blushes, but I was intrigued because it was new and I wanted to try something new for you and I picked it up. This is from L'Oreal. It's in one of the infallibles and maybe you've seen them. I haven't seen it. This is in number 46 and this is another one that I would have been so incredibly surprised with. It is a beautiful sheen, I guess. It's very light. It's very, very creamy. And what I have been doing with this blush is Taking my stippling brush, I just place it on my hand and then I pick it up with my stippling br brush and then brush, not blush, <laughs> apply it. It's It lasts a nice long time. It doesn't, I don't want to, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's going to last 20 hours, but it lasts a good six to eight hours. It looks really pretty, very subtle. If you like a cream blush, this might be something to look into from the drugstore. I think these are also worth mentioning because they are pretty new. 
Stephanie sent me these and these are the Becca Glow uh, glosses and as you know I am a 70s girl I love my glosses so when she said mom I got I got all, all of the shades and I'm going to send you some that she knew that I wouldn't that she wouldn't use but I would she sent them to me and I'm expecting a gloss a sticky gloss I like the last ones that Becca did but I wasn't over the moon about it the nice thing about these is that they feel like a balm on your lips but they're a gloss they're not terribly long lasting like glosses tend to be they don't they don't last a long time you have to reapply there are a couple of shades that i found to be very pigmented they are marketed as a pigmented like a lipstick i don't agree that they're all pigmented like a lipstick I have this one in Dahlia. The shades have names similar to their blushes. So this is in Dahlia, and this is probably my favorite. As you know, Dahlia is one of my favorite blushes. As you can see, this is very pigmented, and that's exactly how it goes on on the lips. But this is not sticky at all. You apply it, and you're waiting for the stickiness, and then you're like, okay, there's no stickiness there and it does feel like a bomb it does offer the the shine however and the however let me just tell you this other one that she sent me is the this is the chocolate giant and this one is also pigmented now the other two are beautiful absolutely gorgeous one is the rose gold and i think the other one is champagne cream these are not plumping. They do have a little bit of a minty or peppermint um, to it, but nothing like the Buxom. I don't think you'll be able to see any swatches. No, these don't show up. I think that if you are looking for a gloss that because you enjoy the glosses, but you don't enjoy the stickiness, this is something that you might want to check out. And the last product that I thought were truly worth it are the Juvia's Place blushes. Now, these are very affordable. Actually, Juvia's Place was having a 30% off and I purchased them. I, ha I have most of their eyeshadows, but I didn't have any blushes. And I tried this one, and this one is the Saharan Blush 2. This set is a little bit lighter than the other one that I'm gonna show you in just a moment, the Volume 1. There is a, let's see, there are two highlights here and the others are blushes and this one that can be used as a bronzer, this one right here, absolutely beautiful. And when they're not on sale, they're about $18. And obviously the, it's these down here. I, I thought this was an excellent buy. I have also used this as a shadow and it works really well. The same as the other one. Now, this other one, if you have a skin tone like I do or a little bit darker, this one you will love because the shades are darker, as you can see. Just beautiful. I'll just swatch this one. This is a very, very gold. Isn't that beautiful? But I understand that it doesn't go for every skin tone. But I think that... If I'm reviewing some of these, it, it should be for various skin tones. Those are the five products that I found that I wanted to share with you in case you're in the market for blushes or lip glosses or palettes. And I think that if you enjoy this, if you find it informative, let me know and I'll continue doing just short videos with just anywhere from three to five products that I find that I can share with you and that you could have a probably a starting point to a point of reference rather for you to be able to decide if this is something that you might want to consider or if you're in the market for it. All right, that's all I have for in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with me. I truly appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. And don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.